Bacon Water Authority dealing with two major recent spills from a local company. Wanye Ye Reese shares how the Water Authority is working with the company to clean things up. Between January 17th through the 20th and January 24th, the Macon Water Authority reported major spills from Graphic Packaging International. Primarily waste cellulose fiber from their process. According to these major spill reports, 104.4 effluent discharge went into the Okmulgee River from the Rocky Creek Water Reclamation Facility off Mead Road. Rachel with the Water Authority says the water is still safe to use. So keep in mind, please, for the benefit of the public, the wastewater leaving this plant has been treated and it has been disinfected. Shell says one of their 7 million gallon basins being offline is not making things easier, but he says GPI is working with the Water Authority to dispose of the solids properly. Well, to assist in the recovery, the company is participating in the disposal of these solids once they're removed from our plant. One of the problems we had, we were overwhelmed with so many solids that once we removed them from the plant, we had to store them on the plant site. We had nowhere to put them. Shell says they are working to get the tank back online by the end of the month and a future with less major spills from GPI. In Macon, Wanye Reese, 13 WMAZ News. Graphic Packaging emailed a statement saying, quote, Graphic Packaging International strives to be a responsible corporate partner in the Macon community. In the fall of last year, we experienced process issues that resulted in exceeding our permit for the amount of solids in the water filtered through the Macon Water Authority. We worked together with MWA to address the issue and have been in full compliance since late last year.